Hey buddy, it's John with Planet Tech, and today we're going to be looking at a uh, dress-up game. So these are very popular on girl gaming sites, or just in general, there are a ton of them. So I've actually been getting a lot of requests on how to actually make one that's fairly complex. Now, the simple ones are, you know, just a step below this, um, but you're talking over, I think this one has over four to 500 different um, items in it. And that's like, how do I code for all that? Well, you actually specifically don't have to code for all that. Um, they're just categories. So we have the bottoms, we have the tops, so basically the shirts, the pants, the shoes, the socks, hairstyles, head styles, and that's about it. So I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, let's make sure this is running on the... NWJS, so that would be the um, Windows platform. And it may be a little bit slow because I have to record up. But here we go. Then it's going to load. Now, it does load kind of long because this has a ton of assets in it, and I wanted it to have a ton of assets. So pop this up. She has a default, default outfit, and then we can change that shoes. That's sleeves. Now, it doesn't look like it's changing everything, but you see where this little heart is. They got multiple different styles. So it just changed from pink or red to blue, then to a lighter blue. If I keep clicking, there we go. And that's when it starts changing. And then we have the little bracelets. And then we have the skirt. And then we have the face. Then we have the jacket changing to their two different styles and then we have the hair and then we have the socks There's a lot of different colors so uh, how did I exactly do this so you're gonna need uh, to import all these assets and if you don't know uh, how to import once you have a scene you're gonna click right you're gonna insert an object and then you're gonna click sprite but if we're not going it, right at this point actually I clicked the wrong one my apologies um, you're gonna click right insert new object it's yeah it's gonna be sprite so you would just click a uh, right where um, this folder is, it would say, hey, load main image. And if you're just doing one of these icons, you do that, you'd be done, probably resize it. However, if you're doing um, like her act, um, exact clothes, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna come over to here to where this animation frames are, click right, and import frames from file. So we're gonna do that. And then, What we're going to see are all these assets. So we have arms, body, hair, shoes, everything. So we're going to click on face. What we're going to do is select that one to that one. It's going to be shift, click, shift, click, open. And we're going to delete the zero frame so that in every single frame they have a face. Then exit. So at this point, we also need to actually, what we need to do is make sure that the speed is set to zero on frames. So when you click on it and after you import it, you're gonna see animation default properties, set speed to zero and leave everything else. So that means you ha um, it doesn't animate by, it, uh, it doesn't animate itself. You have to tell it to animate or you can use it as like a flip book. So we ex don't need that. Um, because we're about to go into what you would do. So going straight to the head. So right here we have the head. It says on left click button. So that would be the head icon. So it'd be this one right here, Sprite 32. We're going to add one to hair. Now what do we mean by add one to hair? This would be a global property. This is right here. So this would be, um, that's hair. And we're gonna need one for the head. Okay, so basically I said that. Okay, that's face, that's hair. So we're gonna be looking for right here. Okay, left click on the happy face, add one to player a number. I use this on a different tutorial. This imagine that as add one to player head. 
So on um, player the head, we're going to set it to zero. So you be uh, you would click right, and then we would set add a global variable, and it would be I'm just going to say random. Not random, random. We're going to say OK. OK, so it already is there. OK, so I'm just going to say card number system. OK. So once you have, um, blah, blah, blah. OK, so once you have it right here, you're going to say, hey, I want you, when we click this, I want you to add. Uh, a variable. So we're going to go into system. We're going to add two, and it's going to be player card number uh, or card number system. You just add it to that variable, and then what you want to do is with like this head, set animation frame to player card number. So we, we would want to add an action. So you don't need that. That's basically what this is. So it'd be, um, let's see, we're going to click this head. We're going to set this frame to, what, um, player card number. Done. Okay, so I'd be setting the frame to the number that is uh, being uh, put into it. So, okay, uh, we hit the space key. It says zero. Well, um, then that zero represents what the computer will read from it. So it's either going to be one or zero. In this case, it's going to be, hey, when I click on this, you're going to add one. And then when it's one, you're going to change the face to one. When it's two, you're going to change the face to uh, sprite number two. And then because some of these items only have uh, so many, like this one has a hundred frames. What we're going to do is say, "Hey, when you have, um, when you've reached that number, we're going to reset you back to zero, so people can click through again." And then to say, "Ah, I don't like that. I, I'm gonna actually, I prefer number two, so I'm just going to click through, get to two, and be done with it." Um, overall, it's pretty easy. So it's just basically adding to a global variable, having that frame, uh, having that global variable tell the frame, hey, what you're going to go to. So you click on it 30 times. That um, global variable is going to be number 30. And if you have 30 frames, then you're going to be 30. If you only have 15 frames, then basically you're going to be at the same frame toward the um, at the, the last frame again. So yeah, that's actually pretty easy. And then I have a link to go to my YouTube page if people want to check it out. So if we just click play. And again, it, um, this is actually currently up on Newgrounds if you guys want to test out the finished product. I can't put this as a download link uh, due to the fact that this is actually using uh, material that was um, I was hired to actually make this project. And it's still needing cleaning up but they were actually happy with it and wanted me to continue um, supporting it. So as, so as long as they make assets for it, then I have to integrate that into the uh, game. So this is an actual project called Designer Dress Up. I was able to put it onto my uh, Newgrounds uh, posts as long as you guys wanted to play around with the test with it. And it was a, a video for my YouTube channel along with the Sakara uh, or Construct 2 educational program. So uh, shout out to those guys um, for uh, letting me do this. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you need any more specification, uh, put a post down below. I am actually making a, I'm looking for open source content so I can do this. Um, so I can explain this and uh, put a link down below for you guys to try it out. There is a link down below if you guys want to play around with it and uh, see how it works and all that type of stuff. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, put a comment down below and all that stuff and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.